This is a message to all Christian athletes. 1 Corinthians 15, 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Hello, Christian athlete. My name is Zach. I'm super into sports. I first want you to know that. So this is why I'm sending this message out because it's super important to me. So I just pray that if, if you are a Christian athlete that you would listen to this. I'm going to give you three main points and then I'm going to give you the big picture to this whole thing. First point as a Christian athlete I think is important is to be different. What do I mean by that? I mean as you're out on that court you're not like the world. It's easy it's easy today to get caught up in, in the world because that's what sports is. It's so, it's so worldly, but we have a choice to be different or to be the same. I'm asking you to be different. The second point is do the simple things while you're out there, whether it be on the court, whether it be out on the field, wherever you're playing. Do the simple things. And those things to me are pick other players up, encourage other players. And I think one of the most important that we miss all the time is to compete with a good attitude. The third point is share the gospel with everyone. I mean, seriously, we've been given such an opportunity to share the gospel. So whether it be amateur, rookie, to professional, share the gospel with all. Be a light. And finally, the big picture to this all, and I shared this with my uh, team that me and my dad coach, and it's all about holding your head up high. Not hanging it down like this, but holding your head up high. And you might be asking, how do I, why should I do that? What's the point of doing that? And the point is, we have a reason to hold our heads up high. That is the reason. As a Christian athlete, we have a reason to hold our heads up high, even as just a Christian in general. Why do we hold our heads up high? Because we know that we have a Father who loves us, and He died on the cross for us, for our sins, and now we have the opportunity to go share that with other people so that they can know Him. The, God that we know, the Father to us, the King to us. That is what's so important. That's why we can hold our heads up high. We don't have to hang them because there's no reason. After a game, if you lose, keep your head up high. Help others to keep their head up high. If you win, keep your head up high. Not because you can boast about your win, but you can boast about Christ and what he's done for you. Thank you for watching this. I hope that if you're a Christian athlete, that this really sink in and that you would just Go out to this world and use what God's given you an ability to do and share the gospel with all those around you. Have a great day.